What's up guys, you all here in team this video. Welcome to part two of our Spear Halloween sneak peek. And uh, now we're going to be looking at the rest of the, um, well, hopefully the rest by th this video. But we're going to be looking at the uh, new animatronics for um, Spear Halloween 2019, which I'm very excited because there are new arrivals. So um, and I th also think there's some that um, just got released yesterday that um, I didn't even um, look at yet. So... Uh, the next one we're going to be doing, uh, the last one that we did, in the the latest one that we did in the last video was Crouchy. And um, overall, well, I'll give you a quick, um, my quick opinion. I don't really think he's that, he's, he, I mean, his design looks pretty cool. But the only thing is that um, he, he's kind of like Towering Clown, which Towering Clown already exists. So I don't really think there's really a need. If, if, he, would, if he did something else besides basically what Towering Clown does... And laughing, I think that would be cool, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, we're going to be um, looking at Bump and Go Mr. Toots, which is, I think it's a pretty funny name. Um, now, I feel like this one's kind of in the, um, he's 130, so I think he's actually um, pretty worth it, which I think he fits into um, the, the kind of roaming little animatronic era like um roaming rosie roaming antique doll and um uh the i think it was called like roaming bear or something like that i feel like he kind of and, and the um of course the antique clown and stuff like that i feel like um he he belongs in that sort of like era i feel like kind of that in, in that kind of family but anyway guys let's go ahead and watch a video um Let's go do it. All right. Hey, you rotten little kids! Out of my way! I've got some terrorizing to do. Who's gonna be my first victim? If you don't like my driving, then stay out of the room. Otherwise, I'll just have to four-wheel drive right over you. Ah! All right. Yeah, I think he's pretty cool. He kind of, you know, drives around. Um. Now, I feel like either uh, the little kids will either get scared or or they will they they will just like, hey, you're my new friend. Um, that's kind of how I see it because whenever the kids kind of got into like the um, saw the roaming props and all that, they either got scared or they basically played with them. So um, let me know what you guys think. Do you think more kids are going to be scared of him or more kids are going to be um, um you know, play with him. Let me know in the comments below because I feel like more kids would play with him because he's kind of, you know, driving a car. Although that face. <laughs> Alright, so we already looked at the collector. Now let's look at, um... No, get away commercial. Or ad. Let's look at Bloodthirsty Betty. Now she kind of, she kind of remind. I already watched a video for her, um, before I made this video. 160, that's not that bad. And she kind of reminds me of a possessed wall hanger because um, she's kind of in the same pose except she's upside down. And, um, you know, she kind of looks similar to this possessed wall hanger. But let's go ahead and take a look and see. Um, I already watched it, this video before, but I kind of want to, you know, kind of give you guys my opinion about her. So, her, you know, pictures and stuff like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a nice look at her. <laughs> that laugh I think is is a little bit creepier than even I know some people will be like no but this wall hangers um a soundtrack is even more creepier I feel like hers is, like that little laugh. That kind of creeps me out a little bit, but she's pretty cool. Um, 160, that's not too bad. But she's kind of like Possessed Walking Her. I guess her little sister, I guess. She's a little bit smaller. That's pretty cool. All right, the next prop we're gonna be looking at is um, Torso. Tor torso. Um, constant motion animatronic for 130. These prices are actually um, not that bad. 
this year compared to last year. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at him. I have seen videos of him. I have seen videos of all these props, but I just kind of want to give you guys, um, kind of watch it again, because I only really watched these videos a couple times. Um, there's a lot of pictures for him. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. He's kind of like one of those hanging zombie um, zombie props. Like, there was this one from 2008 that was like um, like a screaming zombie, and he was um, hanging himself. He kind of he's kind of in that era um, also, like um, hung up zombie. He's kind of in that you know sort of hanging animatronic sort of things. Um, now let's look at. Um, Terror Dog, Terror Dog, um, Life Size Replica, Ghostbusters, and Ghostbusters, I think he was called Zool, I believe, and, um, I've only seen that movie a few times, but I'm pretty sure he was called Zool, if I'm, um, wrong, please correct me on that, but, um, Replica, for $500, I don't think this is gonna be in stores, but we might as well watch a nice video of it. Now, Ghostbusters is a good movie, and uh, he's pretty cool, but I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to get him, because he's really expensive. You know, add. Yeah, they sort of made him into a, it would have been cool if he wasn't static, but, um, you know. I don't really care. It's it's not that big of a deal, but I wish he um, wasn't static, though. That would have been cool. Alright, yeah, we have a lot. <laughs> Our next one is going to be Experimental Eddie. He's kind of like an electrified corpse a little bit, but, you know. He's sort of like an alien-looking thing, so that's pretty cool. Let me scroll down a little bit. Yeah, he has those wires and uh, all that, so he looks actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and watch the video. <laughs> that looks, he looks pretty cool. He's like a, you know, zombie. I feel like they've done something like that before, which will... You know, it would have been funny if he was an alien and he was getting, like, electrocuted at, like, Area 51. That would have been kind of funny. Probably the government would get mad and be like, more people are going to come invade our uh, property. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, how, how long have we been recording? Eight minutes. I guess we'll do these three and then I think we're going to be, uh, oh, oops. We're going to be done for now. Uh, I will do a part three. Well, I'll see how much I can do, but um, I will be doing a part three if I don't do all these guys, and uh, or part four if I don't, you know. Next one's gonna be Blood Brothers, and um, Blood Brothers is, is a thing where um, you like cut your wrist or cut yourself a little bit, and then um, someone else cuts themselves, and you kind of like link, you know, connect. But, um, I heard you can get, like, diseases, so I wouldn't do it. I've never done it, but... Let's go ahead and take a look. They look pretty good. Don't do the Blood Brothers challenge or else you'll end up like those two. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Um, but for 230, that's pretty cool, actually. I think it's a pretty cool animatronic. The detail and, um, you know, the chain across their, um, necks, that looks pretty cool. Alright, the next one's gonna be, uh, Demonic Dyla. 
I think that's what it says. My vision's not that well, but whatever. For two hundred dollars. Let's take a look at her. She's kind of like one of those um, um, ghost, you know, those kind of ghost animatronics, um, like Lost Her Way and all that. But she actually looks pretty cool. The detail on her is, um, you know, you got the like the cuts on the side. That looks pretty cool. And you got the blank, um, the blank stare eyes. So it's, it, it does make it creepy. And, and the teeth are pretty realistic too. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at her. I told you to stay away. <laughs> That's a pretty cool prop. Uh, for how much again? Two hundred dollars. Um, she's kind of like floating ghost girl in a little bit, but um, I think th uh, she's actually really cool. Um, you know, I don't know what company she's made by, but she's pretty cool. Guess we'll do about one more, and then I think we're gonna be done for this video. But there will be a part three probably coming out coming out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, the next prop's gonna be Waving Wally. I think this is a second, uh, our third clown uh, so far that I've seen. Two hundred and thirty dollars. So he must be doing something cool. Or was he like a? He's kind of like an old, like an old, um, clown, because I heard, like, old clowns have, like, you know, the black and white, or the kind of grayish color, so that's pretty cool. Let's go take a, take a look at him. I'm the tech guy in the family, and I want to compare notes with you. Hey, these ads popping up. All right. Everybody has a good childhood memories of the carnival. We will give you some new memories you will never forget. And he's six feet tall. That's pretty cool. Yeah, six feet tall. Wow. So it must be pretty tall. But I don't know about the price. But he's um he looks like a pretty cool uh, animatronic. He's kind of like an old um like an old timer clown. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the video today. Uh, I'm going to be uploading part three tomorrow, so please stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, all these animatronics look pretty cool. And uh, if I had to pick one, it might be Experimental Eddie. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be getting him this year. Maybe eventually, but I don't know about this year. But he looks, um, he's probably my favorite one for, um, you know, the, well, well, so far. We'll, we'll see later when, um, when I go in the store because I can't judge them right now. But anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the video. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Part 3 will be coming out tomorrow. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, stay vlogging.